check this out. This is an NP231 transfer case. My chain is stretched really bad. I don't have a jack stand to get it down. Um, and I really don't feel like taking this whole thing off anyway. But I have a slip yoke eliminator kit. And rumor has it that because I have that, I, re I really don't have to take the whole thing apart. I just have to remove all the screws going around here. Disconnect the drive shaft. Disconnect the yoke. And theoretically, this whole thing should just all pop off. Just slide out. Uh, this is all theoretical. So I really don't know if this is going to work. But I'm going to try it out and hope for the best. <sighs> Let's see how it goes. I mentioned before that I wasn't really sure if I was up to the task of, you know, fixing my transfer case and I think I second guess myself a little too often. It's not like I haven't done it before. Uh, I have actually, I've taken the whole transfer case apart. I installed the slip yoke eliminator myself when I was 16. I guess, I don't know. For some reason, I just didn't really feel like I was up to the task, I guess. And I think it had a lot more to do with my motivation and not so much my skill set. I mean, I did the whole swap from the automatic to the AX15 transmission. I, I, I know what I'm doing. I just didn't really feel up for it. To the point that I was actually considering paying a professional to actually get it done, but um, if you watched my video yesterday, you'd know with the updates and everything that I need to get the Jeep ready ASAP. So I ordered the chain for the transfer case and I plan on getting it all installed by sometime early this week. I wanted the whole transfer case to be fixed by tomorrow at the latest. In fact, I was actually going to try to knock it out tonight. And I was going to try to get this all fixed by tonight, um, but I ordered two-day shipping on the gear, and it was going to ship out the next day, which means it was supposed to be here by today. It shipped out yesterday, said it would be arriving by 8 o'clock today at the latest, and I just checked it, and it said that it is not going to be here until who knows when. So basically... It's in Philadelphia and it doesn't even say when it's gonna get here. Like, I don't even know now if it's gonna get here on time. I already have the whole Jeep ripped apart, so I can't go anywhere. I mean, I have everything laid out to, you know, get it knocked out today. And after I rip the whole thing apart, it tells me that it doesn't know when the part's gonna be here. And they don't sell it local. Like, I can't go buy it at AutoZone or O'Reilly or I already would have gotten it. Ah. Uh... So yeah, uh, luckily ripping it apart, it doesn't look like anything was severely damaged. Um, everything looks okay. So I mean, I guess that's a plus, but overall, it's just a really sucky situation. Don't really know how this is gonna plan out. I mean, I have all the stuff here, just waiting for the chain. I mean, hopefully I bolt it in and if this all works out, the Jeep will be off-road ready again. I mean, the only reason that I didn't even bother trying to finish Hell's Revenge is because the chain was popping and the Jeep died. But other than that, I mean, I mean, this is a good start. I haven't really had off-road capabilities. As soon as I got to Moab, I just couldn't really go off-road. Kind of sucked. Been scared to go. It kind of has hindered my plans on what I'm capable of doing, but... Oh yeah, and in case it's not obvious, I am ticked off. I'd say pissed, but my mom doesn't like me using that word. had somebody suggest to do a full rebuild since I have the whole thing ripped apart but uh that's not an option for me however I do need to figure this out here it is all taken apart in its glory to my knowledge of what I know the gears look okay um but I have an issue um so I have this clip and I have no idea where it goes it was just hanging like here when I took it out I think from what someone showed me it goes somewhere in here um, and like I can't order it quickly and I have to have this thing together tonight so hopefully it's not super important but I'm gonna cool 
Well, I'm gonna pull this whole shaft out and then see if I can figure it out. S-Y-E, S-Y-E. Figured out where it goes. I think it goes right around here on this lip. Put it right there. Um, I actually think I remember this. Um, the only issue is it's very possible because of where this was located that that ring snapped off and it was actually what was causing the grinding. Now that could have come off and then as I was shifting gears, the chain pulled it into here somehow and then what I was hearing with popping was this thing just getting tossed around in the chain. That's that's what I think might have happened, but I mean, I, I don't know what the likeliness of that coming off again is um, or how it came off in the first place. And if I could just go to O'Reilly's and get a new one of these clips, I will, but I don't know if I can. If not, I'm gonna risk it and just stick it all back together. Hope for the best. You can tell just how drastically different they are. It's probably just a hair. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that one's definitely stretched a little. <laughs> oh well, we got a new chain. Pop that sucker in, put it on that geary thing, and you know, call it a day. Poop. I need to get the Jeep washed. This tree right here has limbs that hang over and like, I thought my Jeep was bad. Haley's is just bombed. It's pretty bad. I got the Jeep's transfer case rebuilt. The new chain is in. I guess I didn't do a full rebuild, but you know, I made sure everything looked good. Um, everything I could get on hand before Saturday, I got, got it checked out, all put back together. I just drove around the block in four high and four low. It wasn't clanking or anything, popping. Um, so, so far as I know, it's good, at least for now. My number one reason for not wanting to do it myself was because of my depression. It really takes a toll on you, kind of makes you uh, not want to get basic things done. I don't know how to explain it to someone, but basically I just was not feeling motivated enough to be willing to even attempt it. It's not necessarily that I didn't know if I could do it or not. The other reason was because I thought I was actually going to have to get a jack stand. I didn't know that I could do it just under the Jeep. Still even after all that, I had like so many people telling me that I needed to um, drop it anyway just because it's so much easier, but I, I got it done so I don't really care. Um, I would have got it all knocked out probably yesterday but um the chain never came in it did come in today however i did pay for the shipping to get it delivered by yesterday at the latest so i'm probably gonna see if i can get some of that money back because uh i'm very broke right now the only reason i have the money for gas to get to where i'm going right now is because my parents said that they will pay for it otherwise i would not even be able to make it it's all kind of a sucky situation but you know i'm i'm gonna make it one way or another so the plan tomorrow is to try to um, see what my uncle needs me to do with the RV. Kai destroyed that door and I need to get that all fixed. It's going to be interesting next couple of days. I really don't know what the plan is after this. I did not want to come back to Midland, but I had some stuff that I ordered that's supposed to be here like tomorrow, but if I don't get it in time, then I'm going to have to leave it and then I don't know how I'm going to get it sent to me. It's, uh, it's all kind of a pickle. So I didn't really film the process of getting all the stuff done, you know? I know lots of the people who follow my channel love to see work done on a Jeep. They love to see like the process, how to and all that stuff. But I'm on a time crunch and I mean, look at me. I'm covered in oil and I, I didn't really have time to take breaks and explain to you guys step by step what I was doing and everything. Um, I use the GoPro because I don't worry about that getting knocked over as much and stuff. But this whole camera setup, this is a, a lot more expensive than the GoPro. Not to mention that it's a lot easier to break this than the GoPro. This was not ever designed to be abused the way I use it. But yeah, plans are heading out soon. Got the Jeep all put together, but now I have a mess to clean. So yep, still gonna have to run to O'Reilly's either today or tomorrow, drop off the oil, dump all that stuff, all that junk, and should be fun. So I gotta go, got work to do.